Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today I'll be demonstrating the kids teeth forceps that is uh, milk teeth forceps or also known as periodontic forceps. So we had covered the upper and lower jaw tooth forceps in last sessions that is maxillary and mandibular forceps. So the same goes with the milk teeth. So we have 32 permanent teeth and 20 milk teeth. So the number is reduced in milk teeth. So likewise the number of forceps are very less. So basically we don't need uh, much variety in the forceps. We can do all the extractions with one forceps for maxilla and one forceps for mandible still we have various types so let me show you what are the forceps <laughs> so this is as our theory studied so this is uh, maxillary forceps you can see the hinge and beaks are at straight angle uh, whereas hinge and beaks are at 90 degree for the mandibular forceps so these are the mandibular forceps and these four are the maxillary or upper jaw forceps. So these forceps uh, we can use for the front tooth, the upper front tooth, because it is almost like a root forceps, because we have seen the beaks are touching. But the upper front teeth and all the milk teeth are very narrow in dimension so to get a firm grip so it's the beaks are very close contact we need to have a close contact beaks to get a firm grip on the tooth so this can be used for upper front teeth upper central incisor and lateral incisor and even for canine we can use it So this forceps we can see there is slight gap in between the beaks so it can be used for a little bigger tooth front tooth that is uh, our upper canine so there is no right left pairs here so it can be used for upper canine the thing is we can do extraction with the same forceps all the tooth but for a better grip it's good to use the this forceps because it has a little gap between the beaks so it can be used for canines and we don't have premolars in uh, milk tooth so this you can see the identical beaks on the right and left side and it is used to remove the upper molar forceps there are two molars on one quadrant so this can be used for the upper molar tooth. Uh, this is a typical root forceps for the upper tooth. If uh, any root fragment is remaining in the socket, we can use this to remove the middle tooth. Basically there won't be any root fragment because it will be resorbed mostly as a permanent tooth erupts. But sometimes uh, if permanent tooth erupts in buccal or lingual position the root fragments or the tooth maintains a root so that time if fracture happens we can retrieve the root using this forceps so it has a close contact beaks so that's about the pedodontic maxillary or upper jaw tooth forceps so this is lower tooth forceps so since our lower anterior teeth are very narrow in dimension this has to be used for the upper uh, sorry the lower central and uh, lateral incisors so this can be used so we can see there is a slight gap so it can be used for canines lower canines and we can see the beaks the identical beaks this can be used for the lower molars both right and left there is no right and left differentiation in uh, pedodontic forceps 
so these are the basic uh, forceps used in uh, milk tooth extraction or pedodontic uh, exodontia so we don't need to uh, particularly select a, a 